welcome my dear friends yes myself professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande from pune maharashtra state india would like to welcome you all in my ayurveda academy youtube channel as you everybody knows that i am md uh, doctor of medicine in ayurvedic medicine the subject is kai chikitsa but i am also md in a kriya sharira that is ayurvedic physiology so dr deshpande is a double post graduate okay today's lecture is related with the prasuti tantra tri rog vidyan prasuti tantra and tri rog vidyan this is the name of the subject in the subject paper 1 is related with the prasuti tantra that is the pregnancy and the labor and second paper is related with stri rog today we are talking the very important topic from paper 2 and yoni vyapad this is a very broad term yoni vyapad yoni vyapad means lot of gynecological problems you just mention gynecological female, female problems huh? so all these problems are discussed in this yoni vyapad so today and next four lectures we will because this topic is very interesting also and also important in our practice important for the examination so i will take a good time for that like you remember a uh, srotas examination 13 srotas examination we have discussed in roganidana you remember pranav srotas hetu pranav srotas lakshana pranav srotas this and that and likewise we have pran an udak रस रक्त मांस मेद अस्थि मज्जा शुक्र वह स्रोतस मूत्र वह स्रोतस पुरीश वह स्रोतस स्वेद वह स्रोतस इन रोग निदान प्ले लिस्ट यू विल फाइंड ऑल थर्टीन स्रोतस आर डिस्कशन सिमिलरली हियर वी विल डिस्कस ट्वेंटी टू जीरो डिफरेंट गैनिकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम विच इज कॉल्ड इन आयुर्वेदा योनि व्यापद सो फर्स्ट यू राइट ओपन युअर बुक write down the date 6th of february 2024 write down this title 20 yoni vyapad and today we will discuss about the introduction of this gynecological problems and we will discuss vat j or vati k same yoni vyapad or pit and also another pitta j yoni vyapad out of the 20 we will discuss only two today but before that we have the different discussion okay so here you can see that there are different synonyms different names for the word yoni vyapad for example first word you know yoni vyapad what is that yoni gad ga da ga da is a rog can you see this ga da my cursor always follow my cursor huh? then yoni dosh yoni rog and guiya guiya rog Sir, what is guiya? Genital organ, genital organ. People cannot expose it all the time in the society. You know that is why they are always hidden. People take care. They are very shy about this guiya. It is called as guiyand, which should be always people try to hide hide that particular organ. So there is guiya. Okay, do you understand the word guiya? So in general, this topic is related with the female reproductive system. female genitals it is related with the vagina it is related with the cervix it is related with the uterus it is related with the fallopian tubes it is related with ovary so all these organ the different diseases are there and they are yoni vyapad let us start further first we will see where what where is the reference of yoni vyapad in sushruta uttara tantra so sushruta samhita of course in charak also it is explained na i am going to tell that afterwards so what are the different names don't bother don't remember the shloka you remember the names only write down in the your notebook 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> and repeatedly you read it so you will automatically remember those names because whole shloka remembering is little bit difficult but if you can very well udavarta vandhya vipluta परिप्लुता फोर्थ उदावर्त वन वंध्या इफ यू वांट टू राइट यू राइट डाउन विप्लुता अगेन एंड अगेन मेक अ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मराठी संस्कृत हैंड राइटिंग विप्लुता परिप्लुता फोर्थ फायु वातला च इति वातोत्था पीतोत्था एंड रुधि रुधिर क्षरा 
to derive the blood. Okay. Vamini, Stronsini, Cha means and. And also Putragni, Pittalachaya, Atyananda, the name of the Yoni Vapak, Atyananda, Chayonihi, another name, Karnini, Charana Dvayam, Kleshmala, Chakafatneya, Shandakya, Falini Tatha, Mahati, this is the name of the Yoni Vapak, Suchi, Vaktra, Cha, Sarvajayati, Tridoshira. But before explaining all these terms, I would like to show you this particular matter, which is very easy to understand. You can have a screenshot of the attack by the mobile. This is very important. Actually, one sentence I will repeat in every lecture. You have to write down all yoni vyapak, any, one, two, three, four, five, six, each and every yoni vyapak has a vata dosha imbalance. Please write down. Each, any yoni vyapak, any. Like for example, here you see pittaja, kafaja, vata. But everywhere, little, little vata is there. Without vata, no yoni vyapak can take place. Very interesting statement by Ayurvedi Samhita Granthas. Each and every yoni vyapak, there is involvement from 1% to 100% vata imbalance. Vata dosha is important in each and every yoni yapat. You, you can write down this statement in all the questions of yoni yapat in the examination. Okay? So, which are the vata are maximum? 11. Pittaja, 3. Kafaja, only 1. Vata pittaja, 2. Vata kafaja, 2. And 3 doshija, 1. Let me make the addition. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Yes. 20 yoni vyapak. Huh? Account is clear. <laughs> so you can write down the names. Vatika, A charana, Ati charana, Prak charana. So there are three charana. A charana, Ati charana, Prak charana. Then Udavartini, Putragni, Antarmukhi, Suchi Mukhi. If you want to write down, write down. Make a speed with the handwriting. Shishka dry. Shishka Shandhi Mahayoni. Finish. Vatika. Finish. 100% involvement of Vata. In Pittaja, only 1 or 2% involvement of Vata. But Vata is there. Vata Dute Nasti Yoni Vyapadaha. Okay. Paitika Rakta Yoni. Because Rakta and Pitta Ashtara Ashtri Sambandha. And Arajaska, Kafaja, Shleishmika, Vata Pittaja, Paripluta and Vamini, Vata Kafaja, Upapluta and Karnini, Tridoshaja, Sannipatit. My dear friends, in this Stri Roga Vidyana paper 2 in the examination, they may ask you full question of 15 marks, LAQ. You have to write down three pages. Describe Yoni Vyapada. Describe Yoni Vyapada. All, you have to write down all 20. This is a big question. 15 marks possible. Remember. But there may be SAQ for 5 marks or rather 7 marks or the 3 marks. They will ask, describe Aticharana, describe Shandhi, describe Mahayoni. Any one uh, Yoni Vyapada, they will say, Describe the basic causes of yoni vyapat in general, in general symptoms and specifically explain shandhi or specifically explain karnini. These are maximum time asked. Suchimukhi is asked, shandhi is asked, karnini is asked. So you have to take care of these particular yoni vyapat. Okay. Now, this is according to Vagbhata. But I think you can remember only one, charaka, sufficient. Because it is not expected that you should remember each and everything. Only you table, forget Sushrut, forget uh, Vagbhat. At this moment, primary round of study, you remember this Charaka. That will be more better for you. Okay. So for your easiness to understand the subject, I will just drop down this and I will go further. Now I want to discuss about Yoni Vyapada Nidana. Very important. Focus. Nidana means 
causes causes etiology okay why these problems gynecological problems arise according to ayurveda my dear friends one of the first principle of ayurvedic treatment is you, you know how we treat first our first line of treatment first line of treatment or management how we do sankshepataha kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam sankshepataha kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam ayurveda says always try to avoid the possible causes only giving tablet not not useful for any disease first you must find out according to ayurveda what are the causes and stop those causes or try to reduce those causes that is very important sankshepataha can you write down please i will slowly tell you sankshepataha sankshepataha kriya yogo kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam this is the principle of management of ayurveda so can you see pravruddha linga purusha huh? coitus intercourse with a man who has a large penis i think this statement is objectionable from the modern physiologist from the modern sexologist they don't agree they don't agree big penis small penis no why why not what is the problem with the big penis because that particular vaginal part can carry the fetus head of the fetus it's so big so what is the this is always elasticity is there so this particular statement mentioned in the sushrut uttar tantra may not be acceptable to the modern sexologist you discuss with this point with your teacher in confidence and with the permission of the teacher but i personally explain this particular point that in the sexual activity foreplay is important foreplay f o r e p l a y this is not the uh, uh, sex education lecture so i will not go into detail but if the foreplay is not there and proper lubrication of the female genitals is not there then there may be some discomfort or pain during the process of coitus and that is explained by pravruddha linga purusha otherwise modern doctors will not accept the big penis cannot enter nothing this is nothing like that that is only the thing that there is a if not properly lubricated if kissing and all embracing previously it is not done then there is a problem with in, uh, entering the penis into the vagina and the, the lady gets little bit discomfort that discomfort is explained by the pravruddha linga purush i think this is something very special dr deshpande is explaining okay then excessive sexual intercourse that is again a relative term relative term actually modern sexologist will not accept this term but i personally accept because they say modern doctors say there is nothing like a less and more no nothing like less and more they say that it's like a hunger food eating food if you are contented no less and no excess what is excess so they will not accept but i think beyond personal what you can say the physical capacity if you are giving a more what you can say it's like a exercise intercourse is like exercise if that is a beyond like vyayam like running i am regularly running okay if i do it's beyond my capacity that is called as excessive see here also excessive sexual intercourse means is not exactly one is sufficient per night or two is sufficient three is sufficient no it is not like that only beyond our own. that means that lady that couple should decide what is exactly how much they can afford to do that particular activity then dryness this is important cause yes i agree dryness huh? because if the lady is vata prakruti and any lady any female if she is consuming all the time dry stuff of food not properly freshly cooked food she is not taking any ghee she is not taking any milk then definitely dryness in the whole body and similarly with the genitals the dryness will cause the problem 
Then weakness, overall weakness, she may be anemic, hemoglobin level may be below 10 gram per cent. Then there may be some problem like calcium deficiency. There may be some vitamin deficiencies. There may be some protein deficiencies. Yes, that we have to check it out. Okay. Sexual intercourse during the balyavastha, that is below the 16 years of age. Yes, that I agree. Because full development of the genital organs is not there. And that can be some uh, problem in uh, intercourse of sexual activity. Due to these causative factors, what, I, what is basically happening? Vata dosha is get disturbed. Homeostasis balance is disturbed and is prokop. Vata prokop is there and that vata prokop causes especially problem with the yoni that is genital organs which are already avastha. Remember this word. This is roga nidana word. In the roga nidana subject this stroto vaigunni and stroto dushti. Write down these two words. Very important words. Stroto Vaigunya and Stroto Dushti. So whenever there is a weakness of any part of our body, liver is weak, heart is weak, kidney is weak, and if you are doing some uh, wrong faulty diet and faulty lifestyle, definitely that organ will suffer. Similarly, here, if there is a Khavaigunya, there is a dryness already, that lady is not uh, having enough uh, protein, carbohydrate, fat uh, amount in the body. That will cause the khavaigunya. And then Vata Prakop will make a havoc. Generally, this statement is very, very, very important. Vata Dosh is responsible for Yoni Vyapad. I have already told you. Pitta and Kapha only get involved additionally. Vata dosh is there always, always, always. Yoni vyapat vat. Yoni vyapat vat. Don't forget this my statement. Okay. According to Acharya Charak, this was about Sushru. Now I will explain causes by Charak Chikitsasthan, chapter number 30. This minimum reference you remember, please. Write down Charak Chikitsasthan, chapter 30 is Yoni vyapat. Last chapter of the Chikitsasthan. Huh? Gynecological chapter. So, first is a mithyachar, improper conduct, behavior, manner and activities of that particular ladies. Uh, if she is not behaving properly, that means, for example, her daily regimen, dinacharya is not proper, rutucharya is not proper, achara rasayana, mental faculty is not proper, then that can cause the problem with that female. So, she should follow the ideal daily regimen, ideal seasonal regimen, dinacharya, rutucharya, ahara, vyayab, all these things should be at the optimal level mentioned by Ayurveda. Then, there is a mithya ahar. If she is not eating properly, less food, samashana, vishamashana, adhyashana, excessive. Vishamashana, viruddhahar, incompatible food, like banana and milk, fruits and milk, Fruit salad, milkshake, not allowed by Ayurveda. Okay. Then, Mithya Vihar, activities are not proper. Pravruddha Linga Purusha. I have already discussed this point. So, no again repetition. Atyartham Upasevet. It's like, uh, this is a, again a uh, point to be debate. Modern doctor will say it is not any excess. excess. But I will say, in sex also, if there is an addiction, Addiction is very dangerous of anything. Addiction of alcohol, addiction of smoking, addiction of the sex, that is a problem. That is here, Atyartham Upaseve. Bala, age is less. Veda Dharana, if she is doing some spiritual things, that particular sexual activity will be wrong mixing. Apadravya Sevana, like drugs, drug addiction, Apadravya Sevana. Even you find nowadays, the girls, the ladies, females, they also smoke. Routinely, they, they do the consumption of alcohol. Even some ladies foreign, in foreign countries, they do the addictions of the drugs, addicti addictivities. Okay? Papa karma. Her mental status is not proper. There is always a concept of violence, stay, stealing something, anyatha kama, interesting in another, another different abnormal type of sexual activity, paishunya, Purush, Purusha, 
अनृत संबिलाप व्यापाद अविद्या दृग विपर्य आई थिंक एवरी संस्कृत वर्ड नीड नॉट टू बी रिमेम्बर यू ओनली यू रिमेंबर फर्स्ट थ्री थिंग दैट इज सफिज फॉर यू दैट इज पाप कर्म दशविध पाप कर्म आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन दिस टॉपिक यू कैन रेफर स्वस्थ वृत्त दशविध पाप कर्म ओके दैट इज अ रिलेटेड विद द साइकोलॉजिकल इम्बैलेंस मेंटल इम्बैलेंस यू कैन राइट डाउन दिस वे मेंटल इम्बैलेंस देन प्रदुष्ट आर्तव हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द हॉर्मोन्स इफ देर इज हॉर्मोनल इम्बैलेंस इन द फीमेल यू नो इस्ट्रोजन एंड प्रोजेस्टेरॉन आर देर and in the male partner there is a testosterone so especially if there is estrogen and progesterone imbalance that can cause for example uh, you know pituitary gland secretes the fsh and lh follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone if there is a problem in the pituitary that will affect the ovary so you have to write down these words even explaining the pradushta artha word okay bija dosha That is शुक्र और शोणित दोष विशिएटेड स्पर्मेटोज हुआ और डिस्टर्ब ओवम एबनॉर्मल ओवम इट मे कॉज द योनी व्यापक इन द वुमन और कंजनेट योनी व्यापद इन अ फीमेल प्रोजेनी द न्यू बॉर्न चाइल्ड विल गेट सम जेनेटिक प्रॉब्लम इफ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन द जीन्स ऑफ द हजबेंड और द वाइफ पेरेंट्स मदर एंड फादर इफ हैव एनी जीन म्यूटेशन देन देर आर डिफरेंट Uh, genetic problems you know the down syndrome and klinefelter syndrome etc so this problem are also the part of yoni vyapad then daiva last but not least is your luck bad luck we always say it's like a bad luck but bad luck is mentioned in modern science by this word please write down can you write down this word idiopathic when they do all the investigations modern doctors modern gynecologists and they find oh i am sorry we cannot find the problem why there is infertility we don't know we can't find we have done the sonography we have done the hormonal test we have done the pv examination but sorry we can't find it out are you getting my point so when the modern doctor say we can't find out that is idiopathic we can say it's like a bad luck so we believe on this daiva and purusharth type of the concept next what we are discussing about the causes so these are the causes mentioned by vagbhata very similar very similar for example in appropriate sleeping posture or other i can say improper um, not sleeping posture but during the intercourse if there is a abnormal postures very odd position either the lady is not comfortable or the male is not comfortable that can create some problem uh in the uh, stroto vaigundi okay structural and physiological some problem that can arise excessive sexual intercourse just now i have explained it is it is not only excessive but it's like addiction any addiction is bad this is addiction of sex okay this is bad similar to the addiction of alcohol similar to the addiction of smoking similar to the addiction of drugs even similar addiction of the tea and coffee this also can have the addiction my dear friends just as a part of interesting i have very interesting series of the videos on my youtube channel which is the playlist the name of the playlist is sex education you can check that all the videos and you will find very interesting information about all these things okay apadravya sevana that is use of improper or artificial substances for sexual pleasure very interesting topic huh? that means some gets uh, what you can say the stimulants either ayurvedic or the modern but that unnatural things is not physiological so sometimes there are lot of side effect even for the viagra simple thing 25 mg tablet before one hour before the intercourse everybody knows this tablet viagra huh sildenafil so this tablet definitely cause headache severe headache after uh, completing that sexual activity and that's why it is always said that be careful about the dose 25 mg 50 mg 100 mg it depends on the person especially the person having the cardiac problem like palpitation they should avoid this tablet otherwise there are some incidences that after taking this tablet and during the performing of sex the person dies because of the heart attack 
Yes, my dear friend. This careful knowledge is related with this apadravya sevana. Then shukra shonita dosh vitiated, disturbed, pathological ovum and sperm, spermatozoa. Daiva, that is God's will or idiopathy. We will go further. Now, we will go slowly because first we will try to see the ahar. Only concentrate on this part. When the person is taking the lady, especially we are talking this, all the problems are gynecological problems. So more concerned with the female partner than the male partner. Male is not connected with this yoni vyapat. <laughs> Indirectly he may be connected like mandyatva. Okay. When the person, the lady is taking a lot of dry foods and cold food stuff, cold drinks, freezed food, stale food, then that can cause vatika yoni vyapad or suchimokhi or putragni. That putragni and jatagni are the same. When lady is taking a lot of spicy, pungent, irritating food, lot of alcohol, lot of smoking, lot of uh, what you can say, the pickles, huh? In Maharashtra state, non veg with the very spicy thing that can cause the paitika yoni vyapad or rakta yoni. Then, shleshmika, what is shleshmika ahar? Lot of fatty substances, lot of sweet substances. Uh, excess you fried food all the time. Vada pa, bhaji, uh, that creates a shleshmika yoni vyapad or upapluta yoni vyapad. Then, sannipatik, especially viruddha ahar. Incompatible food can cause sannipatic type of yoni vyapad. Okay. Now we will discuss about lifestyle or the activity. Can you see here? When one does the improper activities, dinacharya, ruchacharya are not followed, then the problems can be antarmukhi yoni vyapad or suchimukhi or mahayoni or vipluta or karni. It's not all that will come together. Some ladies will suffer from antarmukhi problem. Some, some ladies will get mahayoni problem, likewise. Okay? Because of the atimaithun, there may be aticharana and atyananda type of the yoni vyapad or the complication or gynecological problem. In the bala, that yoni vyapad is called as a prakcharana. Before proper reproductive age, huh, she is getting this type of enjoyment and that is wrong. Pravruddhalinga Purush, that is Phalini Yoni Vyapad, Vegadharan, then Acharana, Paripluta, Upapluta, Udavartini and Shushka, this type of Yoni Vyapad can take place. We are going to discuss each and everything afterwards, okay? Apadravya Sevana, that is Sarva Yoni Vyapad, any Yoni Vyapad can arise because of this Apadravya Sevana. Next, Pradushta Artava, if hormonal imbalance is there, then there may be lohita kshaya, arajaska, menstrual cycle problem, no menstruation, oligomenorrhea, amenorrhea, udavartini, karnini yoni vyapad, vamini yoni vyapad, putragni, infertility, shushka, dry, vandhya, again infertility, and rakta yoni, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, okay? Bijadosh, genetic problem, vamini yoni vyapad, putragni yoni vyapad, suchimukhi yoni vyapad, Shandhi Yoni Vyapad and Vandhya Yoni Vyapad. I think at this moment you may not remember all these things. It is very difficult. So, but, but why we are uh, discussing this? Because after understanding each Yoni Vyapad, you can recall. Again, you read these things, then you will understand more. At this moment, so how to remember? It is always only listing, 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 listing. Don't worry, be happy. When each Yoni Vyapad will be discussed. Automatically, you will remember. Automatic. I am sure about it. So, don't worry. Okay? Bija Dosh. Daiva in idiopathic causes, Putragni and Shandhi. Okay. Now, we are going to discuss Yoni Vyapad Upadrava. What can be the complications with these gynecological problems? Okay? The female is considered the root cause of progeny. Getting the child... The mother, female partner, should always have the good quality of the physiology and also anatomy. She should have the excellent reproductive system, anatomically, structurally, and functionally. Should have she should have the good type of the hormonal assay. Assay means the readings. 
then she can get a good child. Yoni vyapat. What will happen with the yoni vyapat? Destruction. Destruction. This, the lady cannot get a good child. No, no, not possible. Hence, it leads to the infertility. Vandhyatva. Basic yoni vyapat can cause the biggest problem is infertility. This is most important. When the yoni is vitiated, that is the pathological changes are there, woman is unable to conceive because she cannot retain the shukra. She cannot retain the shukra, semen, and she gets afflicted with asrugdara, gulma. These problems can arise like a tumor, fibroid, then arsh, piles, and vatadi rog, neurological problems. Musculoskeletal problems. All this can happen as a complication of gynecological problem. I think the main problem is infertility, but another problem in the body can start originating from the that uterus, vagina, cervix. From that, the different complications can take place. Okay. What are the samanya lakshana? What are the samanya lakshana? Common symptoms. These are very important for you. Vataja Yoni Vyapad, there will be always Shul. This is the most important. You write down Shul and Toda. Painful things will be there in the genital tract, in the reproductive system, in the vulva region, in the vagina, in the cervix, in the uterus, in the lower abdomen. There will be pain, pain, pain. Pain is always Vata. Never forget. Then Karkasha, very roughness will be there. Artava, what how what type of the menstrual discharge, bleeding per month, how it will be? It's like a phenyl, like frothy, F-R-O-T-H-Y. Aruna, blackish in color, Krishna, very little, Tanu, thin, and ruksha. Okay, these are the qualities of Vata Dosha. Automatically, they will it will come in the that menstrual discharge. Now, what about Pittaja? What is the main symptom? Here it is a shul. Can you see my cursor? But here it is dah. Pitta is always pittam sasneha tikshnoshnam lagu vistram saram dravam tikshna and ushna hit and hot and penetrating. Pitta is a penet agni fire. Pitta is a fire. So this is pitta janivapad. There will be burning of vaginal region, burning in the cervix, burning in the lower abdomen, burning, burning, burning. Okay? Then park inflammation. Simple. Vaginitis. Cervicitis. Huh? Can you remember this word? Upharitis. Salpingitis. Write down. I-T-R-S. Please write down. I-T-R-S. I-T-R-S. Itis is an inflammation. That is pitta. Inflammation, pitta. Inflammation, pitta. Write down inflammation pitta. Example, yes, I am going cervicitis. C E R V I C I T I S. Cervicitis. Write down vaginitis. V A G I N I T I S. Vaginitis. Cervicitis, vaginitis, upharitis. Double O P H. Pharitis. A R I T I S. So, ITS with the inflammation. Okay. Next, Park Jwara. Very important. Pitta is related with infections. Pitta is related with infections. Either bacterial, fungal, vaginal, but that can cause basically fever, feverish. And Puti. Foul smell will be there. No. Beka. Foul smell. Arthava. Or how will it be menstrual discharge? Ushna. The lady will feel when she is having the menstrual cycle, she will come to the doctor and doctor, I am having a lot of burning, lot of burning during the menstrual cycle. Then Bahu, excessive bleeding, excessive bleeding. Menorrhagia, polymenorrhea, metrorrhagia. My videos are there on YouTube. Please check the medicine classes. Fantastic videos, medicine classes. You check each and every video. Similarly, Dr. Deshpande is explaining about lot of 
different health problems. Very interesting videos, my dear friend. Okay, you please check it. Puti, that there I have discussed the menstrual problem. Even if you can check the simple your gynecological this uh, this gynecological playlist uh, st classes playlist uh, Sri Roga class playlist. You check it. Okay, then there will be Puti. Some maybe yellow color will be there. Burning will be there. Okay, then Pita Varna is there. Little bit blackish color will be there. Next. First, I will tell you the shloka of Kapha Dosha. Snigdaha Shito Gurur Mandaha. Snigdaha Shito Gurur Mandaha. Shlakshna Sandra Mudustiraha. Shlakshna Sandra Mudustiraha. This is Kapha. Huh? So, if there is a Snigdaha, so it is a Pichila. Uh, the whole part is like a stickiness is there. Strava will be there. Sticky, sticky, sticky strava will be there. Sticky discharge will be there. Okay. White discharge will be there. Leukorrhea will be there. Uh, white discharge. Kandu, fungal infection is always with the kapha. Bacterial infection, pitta. Fungal infection, kapha. Bacterial infection, pitta. Fungal infection, kapha. Okay. So, Kandu will be there. Then, Ati Shitalata. Very cool feeling. Then, Avedana. There will not be any pain. Vata will be pain. Here, no pain. Okay. Artha, how it is? Pandu, pale in color. And little bit stickiness. Pichilata will be there. Okay. Now, we are discussing Samanya Chikitsa. General management of this gynecological problem according to Ayurveda. Sushruti is saying, Snehan Adi Karma, Snehan, Svedan, but Uttarabasti, this word is very important in gynecological treatment. I request my viewers to write down this Uttarabasti in Ayurveda Academy Pune Center. We have the different clinics, we have the different hospitals. You can get this treatment, the Uttarabasti treatment for gynecological problems in with Dr. Deshpande's guidance. We have the gynecological doctors, huh? don't worry. Ladies doctors are there, Ayurvedic specialist. So you can just for paid online consultation, you have to make 922-6810-630. The number is in the description. You have to just WhatsApp for paid consultation. No phone, please. Okay. So Uttarabasti with Dravya according to the dosha predominance. According to Charak, he always says Snehana Svedana is the best treatment for Vata Dosha. Then Panchakarma, Niruha. Uh, as per the Mrudu Shodhana, you can do, is required to be done in all Yoni Vyapada. After the body is clean, detoxified, specific treatment for each Yoni Vyapada can be given. But first, body should be purified by Panchakarma. Vagbhat. Snehan Svedan. Why Snehan Svedan? Each and every Yoni Vyapada, Vata. 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 Okay. Vamana Adi, Adi means etc. Vamana, Virechana, Basti, Rakta Moksha, Nasya, Murudu Shodhana, Murudu, not hard. Followed by Basti, Abhyanga, oil massage for whole body. Parishek, Kaya Seka, Pralep, Lepa, and Pichu Dharana. This word is very important. In Yoni Vyapad, Swab, Swab, and Dush. Dhavana, Yoni Dhavana and Pichu Dharana. Please write down. Yoni Dhavana and Pichu Dharana are very important treatments in Yoni Vapa. Yoni Vapa cannot occur without involvement of Vat. Vat dosha imbalance is there. So, my dear friends, so my dear viewers, if you are in house, in neighborhood, in society, in your friend, if there is a female ladies or female or ladies having the gynecological problem, you should understand what Ayurveda is saying. Only hormonal treatment is not good. Okay. Then, can you see? Abhyantara Aushadi Prayog. Internal medicines. Internal medicines. You can write down a few. Very important. We are using this for our medical practice for treating the ladies' problem. One is a Pusha Nuga Churna for excessive menstrual cycle. Pusha Nuga Churna. 
वन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग फॉर यू डॉक्टर देश पांडे आयुर्वेदा अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल हैज नियरली टू हंड्रेड वीडियोज ऑफ आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन ओ एम जी ओ माई गॉड येस टू हंड्रेड वीडियोज ऑन ड्रग रिव्यू डिफरेंट आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन डॉक्टर देश पांडे हैज एक्सप्लेन इन ऑडियो विथ वीडियो सो प्लीज चेक ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न आयुर्वेदा मेडिसिन If if you want to learn what are the effects of Ayurvedic medicine, please check that playlist. This is my humble appeal. Okay, so there I have explained this Pushta Anuga Churna, Bruhat Shatta Avari Grita, Shatta Avari is Asparagus racemosus, Grita medicated ki, Pala Grita. Then here you can see Nyagroda Di Kvat, Maharasna Di Kvat, Rasna Anti Vata, Jira Ka Di Modak. Huh? Then. Falagrit, one important ingredient, uh, one of the important medicine in gynecological problems is falagrit. It contains manjishtha, blood purifier. Then tagar for mental relief, stress relieving. Trifala, laxative. Sharkara, nutritious. Vacha, cleansing. Then maduka, jeshta madhi is there. Then hingu is there. Hingu is there. Like hingu means asa pitita. Kakoli. Shatavari, the most important Shatavari, Grita, he, and also the Kshira, milk. What is the effect of Falagrita when taken during the Pushpa Avastha, ovulatory period? First 14 days. After bleeding is 4 days, then from 5th day to the 15th day, this is the period of ovulation, you must consume the Falagrita. Falagrita ensures conception. The ladies who are suffering from infertility, I appeal to them that Falagruta is the best treatment for infertility. You can try it, but of course, under the guidance of expert Vaidya. Huh? Self-medication, better to be avoided. It improves the normal pregnancy and useful in the recurrent miscarriages. So, this is uh, postic, nutritious, medj, good for the brain. Then, Pusavan, it is helpful in yoni dosha, relieving, curing the yoni dosha. Next is a Bhaiya Aushadi Prayoga. You have to give the external treatment as well. In the diseases of Yoni and Garbhashaya, what is Garbhashaya? Yes, uterus. Two to three Asthapana Basti should be given, followed by Uttara Basti. Uttara Basti is given. You try to understand, there are three types of Basti we are discussing. Basti is similar to the medicated enema. Yoni, uh, uh, Basti, Basti. This is one of the Panchakarma best treatment for Vata Dosha. Anuvasana Basti is, contains only oil, medicated or simple sesame oil with little bit Sandhava. Anuvasana, only oil. Asthapana and Niruha are similar words. Asthapana means Niruha Basti. In Asthapana Basti, there is oil, but there is also kvath dravya. There is a decoction, kvath. There is herbal paste. Paste is there. There is honey. So all these together, it is called as asthapana or niruha basti. And uttara basti, in the male, it is given through urethra. And in the females, uttara basti is given through vagina. So then... Uh, that Anuvasana Asthapasti, how it is given? Through rectum region. Yes, per rectal. You have the anal opening. We uh, give the catheter. Very simple. Don't worry. Some viewers are, oh, oh, oh my God, I cannot hear that. Why that? It's very simple. Very simple. Huh? Nothing painful. Nothing painful. Don't worry. But you must try for this basti for the gynecological problems. Okay. Uttara basti is given during the Arthavakal or Rutukal because Yoni and Garbhashaya are free from the covering and Aushadi can enter easy. That means after completing the four days of menses, immediately on the fifth, sixth day, you can give the Uttarabasti. I have the separate video on Uttarabasti. Yes, yes, yes. My dear friends, my dear students, my dear doctors, my dear viewers, my dear patients, 
प्लीज चेक द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पंच कर्मा इन द आयुर्वेदा अकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल येस पंच कर्मा फैंटास्टिक वीडियोज आर देर फैंटास्टिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इज देअर ओके सो यू कैन चेक वॉट इज उत्तर बसती देन पलाश निरूह बसती शतावरियादी अनुवासन बसती सर हियर ऑइल येस शतावरी सिद्ध ऑइल इज यूज फॉर अनुवासन बसती शतावरियादी रसायना बसती गुडच्चादि गुडुची टिनोस्पोरा कॉर्डिफोलिया इम्युनो बुस्टिंग रसायना बिकॉज दिस इज द बेस्ट रसायन देन बला बला सीडा कॉर्डिफोलिया बला इज द नेम ऑफ द प्लांट यमक अनुवासन बसती ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज द पथ्य डूज एंड डोंट्स when the lady is suffering from any problem what should be there we can prescribe some aswas we can prescribe some arishtas huh? in the morning according to the predominant dosha along with the kshira then yava then sidhu tail pippali churna okay then lauha basma especially for the anemia i will recommend loha sav in the market you will get the bottle of loha sav that is the best for treating the anemia ओके देन मासिक बला तेल देन सुकुमार का स्नेह एंड दीज लशून रसायन गार्लिक स्पेशली फॉर कफ द प्रॉब्लम ओके नो वी विल ट्राई टू सी दिस इंपॉर्टंट चिकित्सा अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्पेसिफिक ट्रीटमेंट फॉर वातज पित्तज कफज फॉर वातज योनि व्यापद ऑफकोर्स स्नेहन स्वेदन बस्ती देन पिचू धारण सेम सेम थिंग ऑलवेज सिद्ध तैल उष्ण बिकॉज वाता इज अ शीत तो उष्ण एंड स्निग्ध वाता इज अ शीत एंड वृक्ष सो अपोजिट सामान्य विषय सिद्धांत उष्ण एंड स्निग्ध द्रव्या शुड बी यूज परिशेक पोरिंग ऑफ द ऑइल गुडुच्ची त्रिफला दंती क्वाथ परिशेक कैन बी गिवन देन हिमस्त्र कल्क धारण वी हैव टू टेक इट इन द स्वाप एंड पुट इट इन द योनी और द भजैना पित्त जोनी वापद शीत kriya always all the cooling treatments then rakta pitta chikitsa we have already seen rakta pitta vyadhi in roga nidan subject just yesterday we have uploaded that video so check that video of rakta pitt is a bleeding disorders so we can accordingly stambhana chikitsa rakta stambhana chikitsa should be given snehana with a grita and siddha grita medicated ghee prepared with pitta haradravya anti pitta like for example simple thing you can say like jeshthamad yashtimad is anti pitta chatavari anti pitta parishek pouring of the oil or the kwath abhyanga oil massage then pichu dharana is done with the sheeta dravya here warm here sheeta dravya then pancha valkala pancha valkala kalka dharana we have to take a paste ha huh? chutney and put it in the swap and put it in the uh, yoni kafaja yoni vyapad वृक्ष एंड उष्ण टाइप ऑफ द द्रव्या शुड बी यूज बस्ती विथ गोमूत्र कौज यूरिन इन द मार्केट गोमूत्रा सव बॉटल इज एवेलेबल फॉर इंटरनल एज वेल एज फॉर एक्सटर्नल यूज गोमूत्रा सव इज एवेलेबल इन द मार्केट दैट यू कैन यूज एज रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ इफ यू डोंट गेट द फ्रेश कौज यूरिन यू कैन यूज द गोमूत्रा सव ओके देन श्यामा इज अ टाइप ऑफ हर्ब that you can use for a kalka dharana next we will try to see the vatik yoni vyapad vatj type so normally nidan is vatakar ahar and vatakar vihar i have already explained lot of things dry food stuff not taking enough water not taking milk not taking ghee waking late at night going to the bed at midnight that is very bad smoking uh, these all the things are excessive running hectic lifestyle mental stress all this problem for the vata according to charaka vata jayani vapa doshi is vata lakshana is yoni tod vedana stambha these are the main things okay supti karkash dryness is there and we have already checked it before so i will not go much much of the time we have already explained it sa shabda the menstrual discharge sa ruja dysmenorrhea will be there pain frothing will be there chikitsa abhyanga with tail and sandhava lavana oil massage will be there swedana nadi sweda most common then uh, another i will not recommend that nadi sweda is enough then sneha pan internally you can give the bala grita 
ಕಾಶ್ಮೀರಿ ಆದಿ ಘೃತ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಬಲಾ ಘೃತ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಪಿಚು ಧಾರಣ ಸೈಂಧವಾದಿ ತೈಲ ಫಾರ್ ರುಜಾ ಅಪಹರ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದ ಪೇನ್ ಸೈಂಧವಾದಿ ತೈಲ ಗುರುಚಾದಿ ತೈಲ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಪಿಪ್ಪಲ್ಯಾದಿ ಯೋಗ ವೃಷಕಾದಿ ಚೂರ್ಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಾಸ್ನಾದಿ ಕ್ಷಿರಪಾಕ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಸುಶ್ರುತ್ ಇನ್ ವಾತಲ ಯೋನಿ ವಾಪ ದೋಷ ಇಸ್ ವಾತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಕರ್ಕಶ ಸ್ತಬ್ಧ ಚೂಲ ತೋದ ಸೇಮ್ 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 ಡೋಂಟ್ ವರಿ ದೆನ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವಾಕ್ ಬಟ್ ದೋಷ ಇಸ್ ವಾತ ಲಕ್ಷಣ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರುಕ್ ತೋದ ಪೇನ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಯಾಮ ಡೈಲಿಟೇಷನ್ ಸುಪ್ತಿ ಟಿಂಗ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಪಿಪಲಿಕಾ ಸ್ತಂಭ ಕರ್ಕಶ ಆರ್ಥವಸ್ತ್ರ ಫ್ರೋದಿ ಅರುಣವರ್ಣ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಕಲರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಂಕ್ಷಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವ ವ್ಯಥ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಲೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೇನ್ ಲೋ ಅಬ್ಡಾಮಿನಲ್ ಪೇನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗುಲ್ಮ ಕ್ರಮೇಣ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಸಮ್ ಗ್ಯಾಶಿಯಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಕೋ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಾತಜ ಯೋನಿ ವಾಪದ ಪೇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಲಿನಿಕಲ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಫ್ನೆಸ್ ರಫ್ನೆಸ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಎಸ್ಥೇಷಿಯಾ ಯು ನೋ ಎಸ್ಥೇಷಿಯಾ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟಿಂಗ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಬಟ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಎಸ್ಥೇಷಿಯಾ ಅನ್ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಪಿಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಎಸ್ಥೇಷಿಯಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕೋ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ವಜೈನಲ್ ನ್ಯೂರಾಲ್ಜಿಯಾ ಸೊ ಈಸಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂರಾಲ್ಜಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂರಾಲ್ ಪೇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ನರ್ವ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಪೆಲ್ವಿಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಜೈನ ನ್ಯೂರಾಲ್ಜಿಯಾ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಹೈಪೋ ಈಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ರೈನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೈಪೋ ಈಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜೆನ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡ್ರೈನೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಜೈನ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೇನಾ ಪಾಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಮೆನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಸ್ at the age of 45 or 50 or 55 there is a drop of estrogen estrogen is less and there is a total dryness to the body to the mouth to the face to the yoni and there is a problem with sexual intercourse after menopause the lady always complain oh i don't now want that sex because of the dryness but the modern doctors they prescribe lubricant ointments and sometimes they give hrt hormonal replacement therapy estrogen patches are available they are asked to keep on the thigh region and all these things this is the gynecological advice from the modern science that is there uh, that is a less estrogen and laxity of perineum they, it can be also compared with the atrophic vaginitis just now i have mentioned occurring in the menopausal women who are hypoestrogenic this condition is vataja yoni vyapat i think very clear to you two things are there one is a neurologic problem because pain is there neuralgia and second is atrophic vaginitis now the last part of our today's discussion that is pittaja yoni vyapat or it is also called as a paitika yoni vyapat pittakar ahar vihar too much spicy food irritating food excessive drinking of tea excessive drinking of coffee alcohol smoking all the addictions hmm? mental stress always lot of mental work nowadays in the it people information technology computer people they have ladies and gents both have the problem burn out syndrome please write down burn out syndrome that is a cause of pitta jayoni vyap remember my words burn out syndrome will make a problem like pitta jayoni vyapad okay according to charak pitta dosh is there daah burning paak inflammation vaginitis cervicitis uveitis sarfingitis inflammation of the fallopian tubes jwar fever bacterial infection arthavastha we have already seen neela peet asit bahu menorrhagia metrorrhagia polymenorrhea ushna chikitsa sheeta kriya rakta pitta chikitsa snehana vita ghrita and siddha ghrita prepared from pitta gna dravyas chatavari ghrita famous parishek pouring of the oil or the cloth abhyanga massage pichu dharana swab done with the sheeta dravya then pancha valkala kalka dharana kalka is a pest 
According to the Sushrut, again the same things. Dosha is a Pitta, Lakshana is Daha, Paka, Jvara. According to Vagbat, Dosha is Pitta, Lakshana is Daha, Paka, Ushna, Putiganda. How smell? Arthava is a very hot, excessive, etc. Now, conditions with the modern medicine. I think in this, all the lectures, every time you concentrate on the last part, this correlation will be very easy to remember the things. Clinical features like burning, fever, suppuration are suggestive of acute infection. Printing mistake is there. Just write down acute infection. I am repeatedly mentioning vaginitis, bacterial vaginosis, trichomoniasis, vulvovaginal candidiasis. But I personally feel that candidiasis or trichomoniasis can be compared with the kafaja yoni vapa. Kafaja yoni vapa. Huh? Because there is more itching is there. The strava is a sticky in nature. So that are more connected with the, of course, pitta dosha will be there, but more kapha is also there in the fungal infections. This is Dr. Deshpande's personal guidance for you. Okay. So my dear friends, as this is a time is up, so we can conclude over here. Today we have discussed or tried to discuss the different aspects of Yoni Vyapa starting from the introductory part and end with the Vataja and Pittaja Yoni Vyapa. So you can go through this video many times. I will request all of you, don't forget to share this video. Here was the topic. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe my Ayurveda Academy channel. Press the bell button icon to get the intimation of newly upload, uploaded videos. Thank you very much. Take care and see you tomorrow with the pediatrics, Ayurvedic pediatrics concept, Bal Rog or Kaumar Vritya Tantra. Tomorrow we are interesting lecture because we are taking the past question papers, few interesting short topics of ACQ and that is that lecture. Okay. Thank you very much. Take care. See you soon. Thank you.